So in this problem, we are told that there's a proton moving horizontally with a velocity of 4.5 times 10 to the 5 meters per second. And the proton moves into a region with a vertical electric field. And the magnitude of the electric field is given by 9.6 times 10 to the 3. Okay, so now what they ask us, how long is it going to be before the proton travels 5 centimeters in the horizontal direction? So the time is distance divided by velocity. The distance is 0 0.05 meters, and that's the velocity at which it's moving horizontally. So we can calculate the time that it takes for the proton to move 5 centimeters horizontally. That's how much time it takes. Now, if they ask us, what is the vertical displacement of the proton in that much time? Well, the y displacement is given by this formula. And we know that the initial velocity in the y direction is 0. So the y displacement is just given by 1 half a t squared. Now, what is the acceleration of the proton in y? Well, f equals ma. So the acceleration is just f over m. And the force that the proton feels is equal to the charge of the proton times the electric field. So we can plug in these numbers and we know the charge of the proton. We know the strength of the electric field that it feels. And we know the mass of the proton. So we can calculate the acceleration of the proton in the y direction. So now we can well, let's calculate this number out in a calculator. It turns out to give this result. So that's the acceleration of the proton in the y direction. So now we can plug this into the formula for displacement because we also know the time. We already calculated the time was 111 nanometers. So the total displacement in the y direction is given by this whole number. We plug in the acceleration and the time. So now it's easy to, to plug this number into a calculator and we work out what the total displacement of the proton is in the y direction. So in the time that the proton moved 5 centimeters horizontally, it moved this much vertically. It moved 5.67 millimeters vertically. So now the problem asks us what is the horizontal and the vertical velocity of the proton by this time, by the time it has moved 5 centimeters horizontally. Okay, so, well, the, the horizontal velocity, the x velocity, is always the same. It's always this, because there was no acceleration in the x direction. But what about in the y direction? What is the y velocity? So to calculate the y velocity at this time, one thing we can do is just say, well, the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity squared plus 2ad. The initial velocity in y is 0, so the final velocity in y is just given by 2ad. So we'll, we'll need to take the square root of that. So the, the final velocity in y is given by 2 times the acceleration in y, which we already found from before, and the displacement in y, which we already found from before. So we have these numbers, and we can calculate this value. It turns out to be this. So, so that's the final velocity or not the final velocity squared, but just the final velocity in the y direction. Now another way that we can calculate the final velocity in the y direction is simply by saying that the final velocity in the y direction is the acceleration in the y direction times the time that it moved. And we already know the acceleration in the y direction from before, and the time that it moved was also calculated before, so we can calculate and get this number, which is the same we already had. That's the final velocity in y. So the total velocity is given by the x component of the velocity, which was always constant, plus the y component of the velocity, which is what we just calculated. And that gives us a velocity in meters per second.